Hi, my name is Tim Murphy. I'm the head football coach at Clovis East High School. And today we're going to talk about our outside run plays and our double wing and eye wing offense. We've been running this offense the last 11 years and uh, at two different high schools, but mostly at Clovis East. The, uh, the success we've enjoyed is 11 straight years in the playoffs, nine league championships, uh, five CIF championship appearances, and three CIF state championships. Winning is, we're uh, considered the winningest large school in Central California this decade, and we're the winningest new school in California state history. A lot of the reasons we are at that or have had these uh, statistics, so to speak, are because of the uh, double wing and eye wing offense. Why do we run outside plays in our double wing offense? Obviously, I, I, it's almost a, a, a funny question to ask because we're so tight and we're, we're so uh, conjoined up that if we were to just to run off tackle all day and try to hit things in the middle, I think we'd really compromise what we're trying to do. When we bring all our people in tight the way we do in our offense, it actually makes it easier to get outside uh, to the perimeter with not quite as fast kids. But anyway, it stretches the defense, so it weakens the defense between the tackles, which is really where we hit our bread and butter plays. The players love it. They always want to get big, exciting plays and get to the sidelines. A lot of fun for a running back, and it's a lot of fun for our pullers to get outside and pull around and hit people. And then obviously it sets up other key plays. When we're stretching the defense and going outside, it sets up our inside stuff, but it also sets up our pass stuff. It sets up our screens and it sets up our quick traps uh, right up the gut. The advantages, again, a lot like the double wing and the eye wing itself, it's great against any and all defenses. It's great against the blitz. When teams blitz you, they usually blitz from the uh, A, A through C gaps, and all of a sudden you're hitting D gap and wider, and you're going to get a great play. It's great on the goal line, because then the goal line teams seem to congest even more than normal, trying to stop you from getting your two or three yards that you need to get to score. Uh, it's great for physical mismatches. Again, we get pullers getting a lot of momentum going and running backs getting a lot of momentum going. So even though they might be outsized, that momentum generates the power that balances out things with a larger opponent. It's good out of almost any set. We like our double wing, we like our eye, we like our T and all that type of stuff. But again, uh, most of these plays can be run out of any set. And again, it gets more people to the point of attack than the defense can handle. If you get three or four guys out on the perimeter, and they usually have one or two at the most doing contain or any kind of... Uh, uh, outside support, it, they're really putting the defense uh, in, in trouble. And then it forces the opponents to play uh, basically uh, to protect the edge. It, it forces them to play physical, even though it's not part of our physical game because we're getting a lot of people out there. But really what it does, it makes sure that they always have one or two guys ready to contain, which again will weaken the inside of their defense. Types of players needed, again, a lot like within the double wing. Good fullback, again, his, blo his blocking and his faking are obviously the majority of the play because we rarely get our fullback uh, to the outside uh, on these run plays. The tight end has to be a good reach blocker, so he has to have good quickness and some good hands and good feet. Outside line, uh, excuse me, offensive line doesn't have to be oversized, but probably in these plays more than any others, they need to be able to move. Running back, speed helps, but it's not uh, the key component. A lot of teams will not run outside unless they have their real good 4-5, 4-4, four, 40 four, four, type running back. We're getting outside with 4-8 and 4-9 kids consistently uh, because of our rocket motion and because we're congesting so many people, the defense inside, again, like I said, it's easier to get outside. The keys to success for this, the timing and the speed of the play has to be perfected. The one thing about outside plays is there's a lot of fakes to the inside. There's some ball exchanges that happen real quickly and wide. We've got to make sure that is taken care of. The location of the exchange needs to be the same every time out of every